I can officially say it's time to welcome in Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. Good morning. I was just I can't believe you have I'm getting all of this um I'm getting this message while I'm talking to you yeah. on this computer. I'm not calling the computer stupid. Restart to install the latest Windows update. Oh, yeah. Restart now. Pick a time or snooze. What do I do? Just snooze? Snooze. That's what I'm doing. Snooze. Don't bother me. <laughs> That's snooze. it. The last Windows update caused me to have to spend money and buy a whole new yeah, exactly. audio editing software because it didn't recognize our 25-year-old software. Yeah, you know, but it's just, you know, the, the same, I have the same problem with Apple. Yeah. I mean, with the Mac. Now, you know, I forget how, I think my Mac is, I don't know, uh, I got my Mac uh, in 2012. Okay. Uh, at this point right now, the Mac will not accept uh, an operating, uh, a new a new update for the operating system. So if it won't accept that. It won't accept any, yeah. It's yeah. not going to accept any other program like Final Cut Pro. So now you have to buy a new Mac, they're telling you. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. And when I said that to um, to the uh, very, very helpful uh, tech, this goes back, you know, maybe a month ago, he said, you can go on to the Apple website, he said, and they do have uh, refurbished computers that you could get, uh, you know, cheaper. And he goes, and maybe you want to do that. So obviously the answer to the question is, right, that means I need a new computer. Yeah. So that's how they get you. And yeah. you know what, Marshall? I'm not getting a new computer. Yeah. I will stay right where I am now as long as it continues to edit on what I have, no problem, not spending another two grand or more um, so that I can get updates. I'm yeah. just not doing it. <laughs> so that's the end of that. All right. I made up my mind there. All right. Now I made up my mind about the weather that is going to be after today. It's really going to be just ideal for the Labor Day weekend. Now, today we have varying amounts of clouds and sun. It's humid. It could be a late shower or thunderstorm in the middle 80s. Any showers will end tonight. We drop to the mid 60s. Partly sunny, less humid, 80 to 85 Friday. Sunny Saturday, mid 70s. Sunny Sunday, 80, and sunny and a little more humid on Monday. Now, there could be a late day shower just because of the humidity coming in, uh, but the highs on Monday should be between 80 and 85 degrees. So we're looking at a very, very uh, nice Labor Day weekend. I'm, I remember Labor Day weekends that were just sultry, uh, you know, where, where you just couldn't breathe. Uh, and I also remember Labor Day weekends where, you know, you're walking around with a coat on. So uh, you may want to have a little jacket at night over this weekend, uh, but I don't think you'll need it during the day. All right. Well, it's a pretty big weekend uh, around here, of course, uh, Lime Rock Park, even though you can't go to it. Uh, they are having their uh, antique uh, race car parade today in between 4 and 6. It leaves Lime Rock Rise through the area, so uh, that'll be okay. Uh, outdoor show at uh, the Sharon Playhouse, the perfect fit. Uh, once again, on their outdoor stage, that happens uh, on uh, Saturday the 5th. And then coming up on September 6th, outdoor movie to benefit the movie house in Millerton will be Jaws, and Peter Benchley's brother, Nat Benchley, will be there talking about it and peter benchley's wife has donated some t-shirts to be sold to benefit uh, the uh, millerton movie house at that event as well so we actually have a, a pretty busy weekend coming up uh, uh, in our area and it looks like uh, and then of course on sunday the concourse to elegance and stuff like that and all the vintage racers will be up um, so it looks like uh, hey you know uh, we can't attend many things but there are some things we still can get out there and attend bad Yes, and you forgot just one thing. Uh oh, what did I forget? Uh, following Jaws, we will have an extra showing of my movie, Hush Hush. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That's right. That's what we have to do is get into, we'll get in more trouble. Oh, gosh, I you tell know. you. Well, it's real nice. The Sharon Playhouse has teamed up the movie house. Uh, Carol Sadlon, uh, the movie house has been closed for about six months now because movie houses are just, mm. and uh, it's been disastrous. And so the Sharon Playhouse all the, throughout the entire month is going to feature uh, movies and their, outdoor, uh, and their outdoor setup, and it will benefit uh, the movie house in Millerton. So. Well, yeah, well, you know, the... Uh, the slight bit of good news is that one of our movie clients 
uh, is starting up again in on Tuesday. Uh, they sent us an email and said they would like to start up again. Now, they are in Atlanta, so there's probably different rules, you know, for them. But, uh, yeah, the movie's starting up again in Atlanta. It's called Red Notice. And we had started on that uh, back in the early part of 20, uh, 2020. Then it was halted in March because of COVID. And now they're resuming again. So I'm hoping if one starts, maybe uh, the rest of them will start. And, That's good news. Well, you, one can hope, but I don't know. I, uh, I know, I know. You, you just don't looks know. Bleak. It you know, does what look the heck. bleak. I know. Uh, so anyway, uh, so that's where we stand. I haven't checked my lottery ticket to see if I won uh, a couple million dollars last night. Uh, I, I got to check that soon, uh, see if that happened. I, I don't think it did happen, but if it did happen, I'll be a very happy person. Uh, yeah, look, please let me know. <laughs> I will let you know. As a matter of fact, uh, I'd I'd actually finance a I'd finance something for you, like a. I'd get you out of that lease so you could get so you could send that car back. <laughs> that 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 would be really nice. And the way things are going right here, because uh, there were quite a quite a few uh, uh, laggers behind, if you know what I mean, as far as uh, payments are concerned. And uh, you know, what do you do? I don't know, Marshall. What do you do? I uh, what can you do? You you can't you can't do anything. You know, it's yeah. just, you have to sit there and say, you know what. There, but for the grace of God, go I, and yeah. uh, and you try to you try to stretch things along. I mean, I mean, uh, we're not we're not nearly back to where we where we were before the pandemic. Right, we're, right. We have only probably gained back about thirty five to forty percent of our of the of the uh, underwriting revenue that we had before the pandemic, but we're still here and we're still broadcasting. We're inhaling and exhaling. That's all one can ask for. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So you're right, and you have to be safe yep mask you know i just keep hitting this hard it's a labor day weekend everybody even you know fauci and everybody warning everybody if you're going to have gatherings they must be small try to stay outside uh watch a distance and keep your mask on if you're going to be close to anybody uh you know you just don't know yeah. i mean now they're saying that even the test <laughs> may be uh may be false uh, the actual covid yeah. test may not be picking up, or if they are picking up COVID, they're picking up just a slight COVID, which mm -hmm. is really not the uh, the true virus. Yeah, Just got to be careful, that's all. Careful and safe. Careful and safe. And on that note, I will see you, TGIF. We'll be here carefully, safely tomorrow. Okay. All Pat. right. Sounds good, Marshall. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast.